Last week we saw forms coming off new concrete on the east side of the building. And this week begins with the heaters being centralised. Colder weather is having some effect on the extension of the storm drain. But the foundation line for the south wall is now becoming evident. As the spoil piles continue to diminish in size, work by the rollers and the dozer continue to spread the base of the new store. Now without heat, but still tarped, some sections of the east wall continue to cure, and the gravel keeps coming. In the northeast corner, where rubble is broken up and the trucks continue to pass, there are preparations to remove more material. As spoil continues to depart the site, the line of the new south foundations is even more evident. As Tuesday wore on, more spoil out, more gravel in. In the corner, rubble processed and assembled on Monday was outloaded. Wednesday's start was blessed by some overnight snow, but that had little or no effect on the work of expanding the gravel base. Up in the corner, the excavator was making light work of removing spoil and rubble extracted elsewhere on the site. Despite severe freezing rain overnight, Thursday saw the introduction of the extension of the new south storm drain. Precise positioning and alignment of each pipe section is critical, with some heavy lifting, literally, performed by the excavator, followed immediately by consolidation of the location. Just yards away, forms are being placed to contain the concrete that will eventually form the south foundation. And in another part of the site, workers were already preparing the reinforcing rod baskets and cages that will lend strength to those very foundations. On the front wall, continuing work begun earlier in the week, insulation was being applied to the interior surface. After a morning breaking rock for the vault that will serve the new storm drain, the excavator was busy outloading the fruits of his labours. That brings us to a very wet and slightly depressing Friday. Leaving gravel to one side for a day, trucks from John's grading and others were in the business of removing spoil. Two excavators, working closely in concert, made sure that there was no shortage of work. The bulldozer, 
temporarily relieved from working gravel, found a moment to clear some of the trails and roadways on site. Looking back, it's been a very busy and productive week, and I think next week we can look forward to another. Thanks for watching, and be sure and look out for next week's update.